Hey, this is Pastor Frank. You know, the book of Galatians is one of the most important books of the New Testament. A lot of people will point to the book of Romans, as they should, as being the primary book of the New Testament. You know, Paul always wanted to get to Rome because Rome was the capital city. Because if Christianity could gain a foothold in the capital city, it could spread throughout the empire. And so he couldn't get to Rome, so he wrote a letter called Romans, a theological treatise where he said, this is the essence of the new covenant. And so I would agree, Romans is one of, if not the most profound books in the New Testament but right beside it should be the book of Galatians. Because Galatians is the battle for what Romans taught. Romans, the doctrine of justification and sanctification by grace, by the person of Jesus apart from the law, was being tested in Galatia. There were quote unquote believers there that were adding to Jesus saying you've also got to do and so Paul had to go to war he had to fight a battle for the essence of the gospel and if he hadn't fought that battle my friends the church would be in a horrible state today worse than it already is because we'd be mixing performance with receiving. We'd be mixing law and grace and destroying them both. Today I want to read for you from the first chapter of Galatians. Galatians chapter 1 verse 6. Listen to these words. I marvel. The idea there is I'm shocked, I'm astonished that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another gospel. But there are some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Here's the thing I want you to understand. The apostle Paul said, when you add any type of ritual, performance, ethic, standard, rule, behavior to the gospel, listen to his language. He does not say you're being removed from the gospel. He does not say you're being removed from it or that. He said, you're being removed from him. Oh, my friends, did you hear it? This is huge. The gospel is not believing a set of historical facts about Jesus. It's believing him. We do not say as Christians, oh, I believe that. Oh, I believe that. The gospel we say is believing him. In John chapter one, he said, if we would receive not that, not a doctrine, not a fact, not a truth, but a person, if we would receive him, we would become a child of God. Oh, my friends, I fear that the church is reducing Christianity to a belief system code, a rule book, a doctrinal treatise. No, no, no. The gospel is a person and his name is Jesus. The apostle Paul would later write to Philippians. My one thing is to know him. My friends, what is your one thing? Your one thing needs to be believing him, trusting him, living from him. In John chapter 6, verse 57, 
Jesus said, I live out of the Father. Now I want you to live out of me. Let him be your one thing and find life like you've never found it before. Bless you in Jesus' name. I've got more to say on Galatians next time together. Hope you'll join us.